Hello, my name is Carlos Catema, and I am finding the answers to where does corporate responsibility end and where personal responsibility begin. It is not enough, the documentary. The previous photos are examples of negative impacts corporations have on society. But what is a corporation? A corporation is a company or group of people who are authorized to act as a single entity and is recognized as one by law. Corporate social responsibility is the integration of environmental and social welfare concerns in their business operations. An author of the Electronic Business Journal described CSR as an organization's obligation to maximize its positive impact and minimize its negative impact on society. Common responsibilities of the company or corporation are environmental concerns, such as taking steps to reducing the company's carbon footprint, like proper waste management and energy usage reduction. Philanthropic or community, invo community involvement activities include donating to charity and supporting local communities or events. Ethical labor practices refers to treating employees equally and fairly. Individuals also have responsibilities, which go further than the law. Personal responsibilities are a set of ethical behaviors for yourself, which include being held responsible for your own actions, environmental, labor, community, consumer, human rights, and economical. Nowadays, corporate social responsibility is being implemented in most companies around the globe and has become a must in all big corporations. In the year 2000, only 837 companies around the globe were issued for CSR, or sustainability projects. This number has increased to 5,600 in the year 2010. The major critic people have against CSR is that companies only do CSR for marketing and public relations reasons, to create more value to shareholders and in turn, profit. Despite this, it has been an effective method to ensure that corporations get back to their community. But I ask myself, do they do enough? Many companies dedicate low amounts of their money compared to their profits, and this doesn't help maintain good relations with their interest groups. And it will cause negative impacts in people and other things. We can see large negative impacts on society, mainly environmental. Transnational companies are especially at risk of this because they are large companies and operate in more than one country. They have large carbon footprints and negative impacts on the environment. Transnational companies does not consider a specific country as its national home. An example of a transnational company is British Petroleum a major oil and gas company who caused a Deepwater Horizon event in 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico. The Deepwater Horizon event was the biggest offshore oil spill in the U.S. history. The spill was caused by an explosion on the drilling rig, which resulted in the spill. On the drilling rig, there was a lack of safety prevention methods, which resulted in the explosion. An estimated 4.9 million barrels, or 210 billion gallons of oil leaked out. $40 billion were used in claims and cleanup costs, and an additional $16 billion due to the Clean Water Act. Flumager, another transnational company, the largest oil field services provider. This company operates in 85 countries and has over 126,000 employees. They have had people protest against one of the industrial facilities in Chesapeake Bay Chancellor fracking site. After an incident involving 295 gallons of hydrochloric acid leaking out to nearby ground caused by faulty equipment. When the public asked about the chemicals which the fracking fluid contained, they were denied this information. Fracking is a proce process of natural gas extraction where chemicals like hydrochloric acid, water, sand, and other toxic compounds are pumped down to release pockets of gas in the shale rock. The public has many concerns about this process due to the fact that it involves environmentally harming chemicals, which, if it leaks into a water source, it could become contaminated. 
Another occurring event, which occurred in Angola, caused by storm merger, was the improper waste disposal of oil mixed with water. This mixture was dumped in on the land in the province of Cavenda. They didn't follow proper safety regulation standard, which is 5% oil and water mixture can be dumped in the ocean or land. However, this mix was well over that amount. Sumerger is currently responsible for cleaning up the waste and taking action to this event. Despite some of these allegations, Sumerger is by far not the worst company in terms of corporate social responsibility. Sumerger was rated an overall score of 55 out of 100 in corporate social responsibility by CSR Wire. They have many projects like Project Seed, which aims to educate students who don't have access to technology like computers, or Science Labs. They also work to educate the public about driver safety and support local charities. So, uh, I'm going to be doing you an interview about corporate social responsibility. Okay. So I'm going to start by asking, what is your name? My name is Carlos Catema. And what is your position in Stormberger? I'm the director of National Company. So, why does Stormberger do corporate social responsibility? It's part of our core business. Whatever country we work, we will have to participate in developing the country. So, this is part of the, our objectives. Where we work, we have to participate in developing the country and so So, could you tell me what are some of the negative impacts Sumerger has had on society? Well, there are no such negative impact we have, but this sometimes where we work, we may have so, some accidents, so let's say just spill, or, but we work on all the time, right? so we, this is why uh, we, our corporate direction in terms of uh, spill containment, uh, pollutions are very strong. So this is something that can be impacted to if we do the work correctly in terms of spill or to impact the environment. So could you tell me some of the positive impacts of the has had on society? Yeah, yeah. we do. I mean, we, we, we support schools, we do the computers, we mosquito nets society. We Help with scholarship for some populations. We do, we do, we organize some events just like drive smart to teach people how to drive a car. We, all kinds of stuff. We do. This is more an opinion based question. Where do you believe corporate social responsibility ends and personal responsibility begins? Well, the corporate responsibility is, is something that we, as a company, we do to help people to, to understand these things, uh, to help people to think correctly, for example. And the responsibility of somebody, when you teach somebody to, to drive the car, it has to put them on seat belt. That's why it starts with us. He needs to know that when he drives the car, he needs to have a seat belt on. That's your responsibility. Our corporation, we teach people to, to do things correctly, right? or we can help them to, to be a proper person. Right? That's different between more corporate and uh, individual responsibility. So, you, lastly, do you believe you do enough sheer corporate social responsibility? Well, it's always never enough, right? I mean, we we do enough. We spend enough, a lot of money per year to support all the corporates. But I think in the countries like Angola, we, we have to do more.
you have to do to this country is need small help for company like slums. So we need to put more effort helping people. So I think we we, we should we should improve or increase our effort to help the people. Thank you. To conclude, I believe that corporations are not giving back enough to the community because compared to what these companies gain, they're not giving back the same benefits received. And the worst case is there is large damage. An example of this is Slumber. They dedicate about $4.1 million in corporate social responsibility projects in Angola, 2014. But this is relatively small compared to their profit, which is estimated to be around $103 million in Angola. Finally, I think that corporate social responsibility ends and the corporate can no longer be held accountable for their actions, but then personal responsibility begins there.